In this sixth video, I'm riding my electric motorcycle around Cambridge and Watertown in order to get an idea about its range in S mode with fully charged batteries. The S or Sport mode allows for quicker acceleration and higher top speed, but it depletes the battery faster, decreasing the motorcycle's range. The weather is still exceptionally warm in Boston. It is over 70 degrees mid-January. This is crazy. Anyway, I'm going to use this opportunity to do a range check on my motorcycle, electric motorcycle. So it's fully charged, it has been charging overnight. It's in the green, and I'm going to unplug it from the port, and it's ready to go. I just checked the tire pressures, it's all good, and we have full battery just charged overnight they're all good to go I'll be monitoring the the mileage and the top speed on my speedometer app using GPS so I'll post those later during the rain check my action camera was mounted on top of my helmet and recording in time-lapse mode in hindsight I should have selected a higher frame rate or recorded the video in real time and then converted to time lapse for a smoother video. Also, I should have mounted the camera on my chest via a chest harness. I'm going to buy one to use on future videos. I apologize about the jerkiness of this part of the video. I hope you won't get motion sickness while watching. It was a Sunday, so traffic was not too bad. I mainly stayed on larger city streets with higher speed limits. Several times I reached the top speed while keeping up with the fast moving traffic. I confirmed the top speed of 45 miles per hour that I measured in my previous video. One thing I realized during this ride is that the battery level indicator in the instrument cluster does not really display the remaining charge on the battery, so it is not like the indicator on your phone that shows the charge left on your phone's battery. This indicator is more akin to a voltmeter showing the voltage the battery is supplying. When the battery is under heavy load, such as during full throttle acceleration, the indicator shows a lower charge. When the battery is resting, such as at a traffic light, the indicator shows full charge. This will become an issue when the rider tries to determine how many more miles the motorcycle can go before the battery is depleted. I also tried to use the speed data I gathered from GPS app and the speedometer to determine how accurate the speedometer is. This table shows the difference between the indicated speed and the much more accurate speed reported by the GPS app at various speeds. At all speeds, the speedometer is displaying a speed significantly higher than the GPS app. Unfortunately, the GPS app has a slight delay reporting its measurements which in turn cause low accuracy and repeatability in the results. For example, the two measurements made at the 29 miles per hour GPS indicated speed at two different instances show a significant variation between corresponding speedometer measurements. In the near future, I am planning to record another ride with well-controlled speeds, during which I am planning to wait a couple seconds after reaching each target speed for the GPS app and speedometer to stabilize before taking the readings. I will also repeat the test three times for each target speed in order to have some statistical significance for each data point. It was a pretty good ride, the pace was decent and the ride was about uh, a little over 50 minutes. It was very windy, 
the top speed hit 48 miles an hour. I think the wind was coming from the back at that time. And on the way back, the opposite direction, it was 42. So I can easily say that according to the GPS, with uh, batteries freshly charged, this motorcycle can go 45 miles an hour on a straightaway. The trip was a little over 15 miles, so that corresponds to about 25, 26 kilometers. And I was in the sport mode the whole time. So it was in the sport mode here, which uses more battery, more juice, but gives a little more power than the D. And I kept up with the traffic easily. I mean, this won't go on highway. No way. But city streets, even, you know, fast streets, this can easily keep up with traffic as long as it has full battery. Into about six, seven miles of the trip, the, the battery indicator, you see it's showing as full, but whenever I was opening the throttle, it was coming down. And a couple times, there's a, you cannot see it, but there's a battery light. It was showing red. I think that the battery is really low, but that was happening when I was uh, starting off from a stop and going full throttle. So these bars came down to about two when I was opening full throttle. So although it's showing as high, this gauge is not accurate. So... Right now in rest, it is showing as full, but it's not. Probably it has less than half the charge. And it doesn't have as much, as much juice when I was opening the throttle towards the end of the trip. So I need to do probably another test in D mode, not the sport mode, and see how far it goes. Yeah, I, I, it, was, it was getting cold, so I stopped doing it. I mean, I can go around the block probably to see when this starts coming really down and uh, you know, the battery depleting, but I don't want to put the battery into that kind of stress. So for now, I'm happy. So I can easily say that this has, with my hand-fisted throttle, uh, at least 15 miles of uh, range. This is the, again the base model, the lowest model, lowest capacity, lead, lead acid battery, 2000 watt motor. So it is fine for city riding. I'm happy. And this will take me to work and back. So the round trip is about 15, 16 miles uh, depending which route I take. So it will take me to work and back home. Overall, a nice ride. I'm happy. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for my next video in this series where I'll be commuting to work on my electric motorcycle and vlogging about my riding impressions.